So you had a, not quite a topic, but something you did want to mention? Yeah, so um, um, uh, several shows ago, Matt and I were hosting, and someone brought up Alcoholics Anonymous, and we kind of once again went into the fact that Alcoholics Anonymous actually doesn't have such a great track record. And we talked about, you know, you're actually better off, you know, doing it by yourself than participating in Alcoholics Anonymous. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Well, we got an email from a guy who said, oh, you gave really bad advice, and it's actually dangerous to tell people to quit by themselves. And he quoted something, and I may have said this, and I have to go back and look at, listen to it, but he said that I told people that they're better off quitting cold turkey um, versus Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, if I said cold turkey, that's not exactly what I meant. I meant, you know, quit by yourself versus joining Alcoholics Anonymous. And he went in to talk about how just stopping drinking by yourself, basically detoxing on your own, is very dangerous. And that's true. Uh, but here's the thing. Alcoholics Anonymous does not offer detox. Basically, they tell you, quit drinking. And if you have a reaction to stopping drinking, then you're going to need medical help. So um, my recommendation is if you need to detox from something, whether that's alcohol or drugs or whatever, you should do that in a medically supervised situation and not, um, not take the word of a bunch of people who managed to negotiate that hurdle on their own for whatever reason. Or maybe they didn't. Maybe they did get medical detox, but now they're sitting in a circle telling you that you're fully responsible for all the harms you did uh, while you were drinking, but you're not responsible for your recovery because, you know, the group is going to, and your higher power are going to do that for you. And that's basically the message of AA. So um, that I have a problem with. But anyway, I just wanted to clarify that. I'm, w when we were talking about Alcoholics Anonymous, we were specifically talking about a program that purports to treat alcoholism, not um, detox. Okay. Um, detox should not be done. By yourself, cold turkey. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I actually like uh, part of that about the show is that you know every now and then I don't always do it, but I do engage. I think a little bit at the blog now and then, like especially in the few days after a program. And one of the things I always like is when there's a dispute and then people start posting uh, evidence and mm -hmm. research to it. And a yeah. lot. I, I just want to let people know that you know sometimes I will say a thing on the show that gets challenged later, and. I'll look up the evidence and, and be convinced that, okay, so this is not quite what I thought. I mean, it's not like yeah. that never happens. And it, I think part of the downside of the show is that sometimes you don't get to see that because it's a topic that's brought up on a call and then it's never brought up again. And right. so you're thinking like, oh, this has thinks something wrong. And maybe I did think something wrong. And then later at the blog, I see mm -hmm. people posting information about it and it's like, oh, this, the position on this particular issue has shifted. Mm -hmm. You know, there's more data now and there's more evidence now. And maybe it was, you know, more questionable earlier when I looked into it and it's right. not anymore. So I do, you know, I appreciate when people post um, the links to the research and I do try to look at that mm -hmm. and sometimes reconsider my views. And so this does occur. It's just not always very as public as the error sometimes, you know. Yeah. So that's an interesting thing.